The enemy wants us to focus on our circumstances. He wants to get us so wrapped up in ourselves that we can't see the help that the Lord is constantly extending to us. Even when terrible circumstances like death come, do you think the Lord's really about death? <laughs> our God is about life. The enemy is the one who's about death and wants us to focus on the dead things in our life. Well, you know what? God's delivered us from death unto life. Uh, when, when harsh circumstances come, rather than dwelling on the circumstances, yeah, I'm, I might have to endure them, but God extends grace in those moments. I need to be focused on, focusing on what the Lord sees from His vantage point, from His point of view. We're to seek first the kingdom, and we do that by seeking first the king. And if we want to seek first the king, we, we should want to see what He sees. Rather than seeing discouragement, I want to see encouragement. Rather than seeing and wallowing in despair, I want to see the hope that he extends to me. As I focused on those things, uh, the Lord just allowed me to hear a song of deliverance. It's for somebody who's watching right now, probably for many somebodies. We all need to be reminded of this truth. What God sees is the true reality. Everything that we can see with our physical human eyes will one day burn. <laughs> it's just going to decay and burn away. It'll be dust. What is eternal? That's true reality. Our spirit, God is spirit. We are ultimately spirit. That is who we ultimately are in our core. And so we need to be focusing on spiritual reality. And this is God's point of view, his perspective. And I want you to disregard me and hear your father's heart. This is his heart for you. What he sees is beyond what we see. But because we're his children, he gives us eyes to see. So let's look. You think I can't see the things you hide? You think I can't call a raging tide? You think I'm not really by your side? But that's not